So we're gonna take a flight today. Going to go to Puerto Rico out of Bradley International Airport on JetBlue, flying economy. So we paid 35,000 JetBlue miles for a round trip economy flight and paid another $49 to upgrade to the extra recline seats in the uh, row 11F for the uh, exit row. They do recline, but the ones in front, they don't. And we're supposed to get priority boarding in group A before everyone else. So I'm really excited to see how this is. And it's a four hour trip, a little bit over, and uh, see how the service is. And I'll see you in a little bit. We're gonna start boarding. So we're waiting to board JetBlue Economy. It's A320, San Juan, nonstop from Bradley. Hopefully we'll board soon, get to board first. Let's see what it looks like. Hopefully it's comfortable. That's all that really matters, you know. About four and a half hours. It's got a red, the plane is red. Seat 11 now. It's all red. We're over here. This row. Okay. Yep. Let me uh, put your bag up for you. No. There's a seat recline. Doesn't seem like that much. But look at the leg room. It's like huge. It's like well worth the money. So we got the emergency exit row. It was $49 extra, but The amount of uh, leg room is pretty, pretty impressive. Each entertainment screen has a uh, USB charging port, tray table. refurbished A320 with the new seats. You have tons and tons of universal power and each one has USB as well. Don't know if anybody's sit here but it was empty when we last looked yesterday so cross our fingers and hopefully maybe there's no one sitting here. Overall, the seat seems okay as far as, well, comfort. Well, it's a little hard, but. Uh, 
Headrest seems all right. Like the air vents. Always good for a flight. Live direct TV. <laughs> These are old movies, as far as I can tell. Just free Wi Fi. seasons of TV. Huh. Billions. This is 32M. A320. Our way as quickly as possible. The overhead bins are shared space. We do have a completely full flight. We are going to ask if you have small carry-ons, such as handbags, purses, backpacks, briefcases, or laptop cases. Please place those items underneath the seat in front of you.
it's nine dollars for the snack pack. The cheese pack is the same, nine dollars. Comes with cherries and crackers and three types of cheese. And then this has artichokes, seeded crackers, olives, hummus, and a small cookie, nine dollars a piece. So we'll see how it tastes in a little bit, but I don't want to eat until we get something to wash it down with. Otherwise, we're going to choke. Got a water and a ginger ale to go with the snack box. And there's a little bottle of Prosecco to go with the cheese and the wine. $9. Hopefully it's good. It's pretty good, I guess. Seasoned. Artichokes, basil, and thyme. Like marinated from my snack box. I like them, but I like the artichokes better. And then they have hummus and some crackers too. Different. I think there's flax seeds in them. The hummus is very garlicky, but it's all right. So the uh, the snack box. If you're hungry, it's pretty good. I'll take get it. it. Has cherries, three types of cheese, and then some crackers in it. Well, depending on what you like better. I mean, I like the Mediterranean uh, snack box better with the olives, but this one looks pretty good too. Oh, nine dollars each. Nine dollars each. Having flown other airlines economy products, I can tell you without a doubt, JetBlue's even more space economy seats beat them all. Is it America's best economy seat? I'd say yes. 
JetBlue wins with their seat width, legroom seat comfort, price, free premium snacks, and the friendliness and cheerful attitude of the crew. Overall, if JetBlue flies near you and to where you want to go, do yourself a big favor and fly them over the other airlines. You won't regret it.